Alright, what's going on guys? I am bringing you the second and the third chem strike from my back to back to back chem strikes that I got in free for all. I showed you guys the, the post game lobby of the first um, chem strike, which is not going to be included in this video. I actually uploaded that yesterday, so I'll link that in the description if you guys want to watch that one if you missed it. Um, basically, I separated it because that one had a specific commentary topic that I wanted to address for that. Plus, they would have made it like a 20 minute video almost or something, I don't know. So, I didn't want to do all that. And I figured it'd be probably too long. So I shortened it up. It's just about 10 to 11 minutes now. And I think it's a lot better. It's a lot easier for me to talk over a video like this than it would have been like that. So that's the reason I did all of that. And uh, yeah, so if you guys could throw me a like or anything, that would be much appreciated. Because I don't think anyone's uploaded something like this before. Um, well, at least not for Ghosts. I don't know. Maybe for like Monofer 3. But anyway, it's not this pretty unique idea. And it just ended up happening. I wasn't really trying to do this. Um, I was just playing free for all, trying to get some gameplays for you guys, and this ended up happening. So I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I guess I'll upload it like that. So, yeah. Anyways, so what I basically did for this is I uploaded the pre and post game lobby of all the games, but I fast forwarded it because otherwise it's like two minutes in between games, and uh, I shortened that down to like 30 seconds or something. So it makes this video easier. And uh, yeah, so you guys will see it. It'll just be fast forwarded all the way up until the game starts, and then, you know, it's all good. So anyway, so let me start talking about this first um, KEM strike that I got on Strike Zone. And basically, you guys have already seen this spot for me on Strike Zone. I uploaded a Strike Zone free for all gameplay already with the Honey Badger. Um, this time I'm using the MSBS, and I ended up picking up a Vector at the end as well. Um, I'm over here like leading and stuff, trying to get my lean kills. Um, you guys already know like gold camo in this game is pretty hard to get, so I'm always like trying to lean whenever I can, like randomly, just to get the lean kills so I can get my camos and stuff. Um, but anyway, so this spot here in Bar, you guys saw I stomp, I spawned down by the statue, and I basically worked my way up here. I won a few gunfights. Now that's pretty typical in free for all. I rarely spawn in the area that I want to hold down. Um, but the reason that I came here in bar is because, there's, okay, so there's a spawn behind me. It's basically where that room is behind me in the bar with, like, I don't know what's in that room. That little tiny room. And then right outside of that room and inside that room, there's a spawn point. So what usually happens is they spawn there and they either run out down towards the stairs or they run back towards me in the bar. And if they run towards me in the bar, obviously I have dead silence. I have uh, amplify. I can hear them. Um, running behind me, so it's pretty easy to get them. And then uh, the reason I watch the front door is because there's a spawn outside of the front door, and obviously also because they can run in from there if they decide to run up that way. But basically, they spawn there. They have two choices when they spawn there: they either run into the bar or they run forward down the stairs or you know whatever towards uh, a domination or whatever, where they, wherever they want to go. So I basically am minimizing my uh, angles of attack here. I, I basically I'm putting my back against the wall. To where no one can shoot me in the back because that's a big thing about free fall is you don't want to be running around like randomly basically because of this because i don't play free fall like just to win the game or whatever if i played free fall to win the game i would run around i wouldn't really care i play free fall to get kem strikes for youtube okay so so if i'm running around and i get on like a 10 kill streak and then some guy spawns behind me and shoots me in the back and he kills me that gameplay is over i have i don't have an another chance to get a kem strike in that gameplay you know what i mean because free for only goes to 30 kills and i already got 10 of them so there you go like i don't have enough um, you know kills left to get it so that that whole like you know couple minutes that i that I played was a waste so i try to optimize every free for all game that i play and put myself in the best like situation to where i don't get shot in the back to where i can control every gunfight to where you know i know where the enemies are coming from and, you know, I don't mind if they know where I am. In fact, I like staying in the same area in free-for-all because it encourages them to come back for me. And for the most part, you know, I'll, I'll know when they're coming. I can hear them. I can see them. You know, whatever the, the case may be. And I'll, you know, I'll still be able to kill them. So that's the reasoning for that. Um, also, I didn't even break down the class setup in this, so I'll talk about that as well. Um, I'm using the MSBS with the red dot and the suppressor on it. And then my perks, um, it should be my free-for-all. Class setup perks. I'll link that in the description as well because I forgot um, it 100%. But you can see that I unlock scavenger, quick draw, and uh, dead eye. So there you go. And then I'm most likely running um, sleight of hand, um, sleight of hand, stalker, dead silence, amplify, something like that. And then my unlock should be like wiretap. Yeah, you can see the UAV. So yeah, wiretap and. Uh, I don't know, agility or something, I don't know. The class setup will be in the description below if you guys want to check that out as well. Um, it's hard to remember all these perks in this game. Like, 1 over 3 was easy. It was like, uh, what your three base perks were, what your three unlocks were, 
and then bam, specialist bonus, you get every perk in the game. And this one, I have to remember like 15 perks that I have on, and I can't always remember them all, so that's my bad. But they will be in the description below if you guys want to check them out. And I'm coming up to the KEM strike over here. I need a couple more kills. And it actually does end the game. Sometimes in free fall, like, I don't know, like, it just, it doesn't end the game all the time in free fall, like, because I'll get it at 24 kills, and you have to get six kills with it, obviously, to end the game. And um, there's only eight people in a free for all, and sometimes there's not even eight people in the free for all. So um, sometimes I have to end up getting like a couple extra kills after the chem strike in order to like actually get the 30 kill mark. Um, but anyways, other than that, this first chem strike is coming to a close. I think I do I get it with this gun or I pick up the vector to get it. I don't even remember. Um, I remember I did have to. I was in a pretty bad situation. I had only yeah, I only have a few bullets left. I did get it, and then I pick up the vector. Yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, that was the first one. Actually, I almost ended the video. That uh, I almost ended the goddamn video. Okay, so now we're going to move into the second KEM strike. So what's going to happen now is it's going to fast forward in the in the post-game lobby. Um, you guys are going to see all that. And basically, the, the third one is going to be on Octane, which was actually surprising to me. Because Octane isn't really one of my favorite maps on this game. I really do like Strike Zone. And I really do like Tremor, which are two of my favorite free-for-all maps. And now I kind of like Octane because I kind of figured out a really good area to hold down. Um, this Octane one probably won't be as campy, but I figured out like a little building that I keep rotating through. You guys will see it. Um, I don't know what it's called. I think it's it's not the strip club building. It's the building right next to the strip club building. Is it Pawn? I don't even remember. I don't know the callouts. But anyways, um, you guys will see when I go there in a second. But basically what happens in this building is there's a spawn point right behind me and then there's a, there's a couple spawn points like out in the front in front of me in like the, um, the middle of the map basically. And what happens is I end up, you know, being able to hear them obviously. So that's a huge thing with all of these like free for all gameplays you guys are going to notice this. I'm always able to hear when my enemies are coming and um, I can, you know, get ready for that gunfight they call it ADS and I'll be like all right so they're coming from this way all right I'm ready for them and then I win the gunfight like I'm rarely like caught off guard in free-for-all um, mainly just because you know you can always hear the, where they're at so basically this is the building I'm talking about I don't know what this building is called um, it's down here with it's like a little office it has like a desk on it and stuff um, I don't really know what, what exactly the building is called but you guys will see there's a spawn behind me in the back door and then they can either come in from the front you know by the bus or from the window as well and basically the whole time I'm just I'm just running around in this building just waiting for people and uh, you know every time they spawn I can hear them run out or whatever and it's not really a big deal and I'm using the exact same class setup as well uh, I probably should have changed the gun I could have changed it to uh, I don't know like the SA805 that's another gun that I like or the Remington even SC2010 they're all good I think I like all of the assault rifles um, they're all like good the weakest one is probably like the FAD that's probably like the weakest one um, I don't know, it feels like it gets a lot of hit markers, but uh, there's around like five of them that I can use like all like effectively, but the AK is still my favorite and uh, closely followed up by the MSBS. The, uh, the ARX is also good as well. They're all good, really. Like all the guns in this game are all pretty good. There aren't any guns in this game where I'm like, damn, like that gun is just terrible. I don't want to use it. Um, I feel like they're all really good. I don't know if that's because the game's, you know, hit detection is so good to where people just die. Or it's just that the guns are really just that strong, making people die. I don't, I don't really know what it is, but I do really enjoy all the guns in this game. That is something they, that they did correct, and that's something that um, Infinity Ward seems to always do correct. They always have a lot like um, more equal guns, I guess you could say. Like if you look at all the Call of Duties for Infinity Ward, like there's always like a bunch of guns that you can use as compared to Treyarch. Although Black Ops 2 did have a pretty good variety, um, but you know, like Black Ops 1, like the FAMAS was the gun. And, you know, in Modern Warfare 2, you know, you can use the FAMAS, you can use the ACR, you can use the M16, the TAR, um, you know, even the SCAR a little bit. You know, like, there's a hell of guns. And then, you know, it came to Black Ops 2, there was actually a lot of guns, so. I don't know, it just feels like Infinity Ward always has better gun selection. But, I don't know, this year, Treyarch definitely destroyed them with the maps. These are some of the worst maps ever, but. Um, also, I guess I'll talk about this. So, Scrapyard is supposed to be coming back, and, uh, what's it called? Dome as well. And I don't, they didn't, I don't think they've released which one's coming first, but there is going to be, the first map pack is going to either have Scrapyard or Dome, I'm pretty sure that's how it was uh, broken down, so that's pretty cool, and uh, I will probably get it just to play Scrapyard or Dome, I bet Scrapyard Blitz and Dome Blitz will be hella fun, so I'm going to have to definitely check that out for sure, um, probably get some chem strikes on that for you guys, 
Um, Scrapyard was one of my favorite mono for two maps, and Dome was one of my favorite mono for three maps. So, looking forward to both of those. Although, what is it? Strike Zone is already Dome. I don't know if you guys saw the the screenshot of that or the videos that people made on that. That uh, Strike Zone was like it's the same map layout as Dome. I know Nate shot made a video about it, and then a lot of it was first like originated on Twitter or whatever. But yeah, I saw that, so that was kind of weird. And I guess that's why people like Strike Zone so much. Like. Um, if you think about it, like the the pro shop is uh, like basically inside the dome, and then the bar is like inside B, and then they even have like the B flag in this game inside the bar, just like what it would be on Modern Warfare 3. So um, that was pretty weird. Like I don't know. I guess you know. I, I actually think that's a good thing. Um, you know, they they picked the map that people enjoyed dome, and uh, they just remade it because they knew it was a map that worked. And look at it, Strike Zone is the best map on this game because it's the only map that's from Modern Warfare 3, you know what I mean? Like, the rest of these maps are all new maps, and they're all pretty garbage. And then the one map that's a remake of Modern Warfare 3 map, you know, ends up being the best map, you know, who would have thought, right? So, I guess that's kind of ironic the way that worked out. But anyways, this uh, KEM Strike is coming up to a close. Uh, I just picked up the 23rd kill, I almost died right there, and then I ended up picking up the last kill, called it in. I'm not sure if it ended the game. Um... But anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed. I did take a death, actually. That kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are not already. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Have a good day, and peace out. Hope you enjoyed. This is a long-ass fucking video, man. I hope I uh, commentated the whole thing correctly. I don't know, man. <laughs> anyways, have a good day. Peace.